My name is Margot Soland. I'm the retail buying manager for the Barbican shop. I have a background in the arts. I trained as an illustrator and then I did a master's degree in visual communication. I then started working at Barbican when I graduated and I was working closely with the buyer at the time. I had no idea what buying was like before working with her and it was a complete eye-opener. I was really surprised by how curatorial a role it is and I found that actually my skills as an illustrator were really useful in this role. I used to work a lot in collage and it's actually quite a similar process where you're finding links between objects and elements and colours and shapes. What I look for when I'm looking for new products and new makers can be really varied. As a starting point there'll be maybe an exhibition or an event in the centre and I'll need to sort of reference that. Sometimes it'll be one of our more perennial themes such as architecture or brutalism. Another part of what we do here in the shop is highlight local, independent, new makers as well. At the moment we're working on our first ever retail events season. It's called Make, a season of contemporary craft. Together with Craft Magazine we invited some of the most talented makers currently living in London or the UK to come and share their skills and share their products with our audiences. So this is in the form of talks or demonstrations or workshops or sometimes just even showcasing their best product. The main place where we found them was the Craft Council directory, which is a great source of inspiration, a great wealth of different makers and disciplines. My favourite piece in the shop at the moment is probably this series of vessels by Phil Cuttance. They're just instantly appealing. It's really sympathetic to the building, it really fits in with our in-house style. The colours are just so on trend at the moment, so as a piece of design they're quite affordable and they just take a lot of boxes. And we really wanted to challenge people's perception of what craft was and how craft had evolved today. 